Alrighty, it's uh, time to just spray these uh, diverters which go on the inlets here. Um, these are left over from the crash victims, so I'm just going to give them a quick lick of paint just to uh, spice them up a bit. Because I'm not going to be able to paint it with a lot of masking on the plane, so yeah, they don't come out too good, but anyhow. So uh, we'll just get let those uh, cure off. Uh, I'm using uh, Krylon Fusion because it dries real quick. Ten minutes from now, those will be uh, handleable, if that's the right word. <laughs> and uh, we'll look at getting these installed with the uh, nasals in place. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to the uh, A6 build. We're getting to the final stages of this uh third plane. Uh, this is one which was uh, crashed. Uh, we reused the tail end from the other. All the front from here forward is brand new. So today we are going to install the uh, nasals that we made the other day. Uh, they're nice and cured now. And then uh, after that we're going to look at uh, reassembling the back end with the flying stabs. We have to fix the rudder post, which will show you a real neat tip to uh, get the hinges out. And then uh, we can move on to getting this finally programmed and then uh, in the hair. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is uh, get these all cleaned up, uh, get this uh, ridge in, uh, uh, send it down, and then we'll adjust the uh, back end here a little bit, and then we'll uh, put the final fit in. By the way, here's a little tip uh, if you have a Dremel. Uh, I don't know whether the brand new ones uh, come with these, but this is an old Dremel from God knows 30 years ago. But they have these little uh, collet uh, thingies here. And it's just so easy to uh, get it in place. So you might want to uh, pick some of these up if you don't have them. So let's get this cleaned up. So here's a little tip. Uh, these are set back about maybe one millimeter, you know, about, I don't know, sixteenth of an inch or so. Um, if I used uh, the big disc with the uh, rough paper, it's going to just cut through that and things will go wrong. So what I do when I'm doing the fine tuning is I use the, uh, the fine and smaller disc and the finer paper. That way I can control how much is removed. Okay, so we've uh, cleaned these ridges up a little bit and uh, where we put that uh, uh, goop with microspheres in to uh, fill this inner uh, round over here, uh, we're going to go in there now and just auger a little bit of it out to try and reduce some of the weight, being very careful not to drill through it. Gonna take a while so we'll carry on. Alright, uh, we had a little problem uh, when I was taking the fuselage out of the mold. This little part of the lip, there's supposed to be a lip all around in here so that that you know, can secure to it. Anyhow, this uh, came off, it had a big void in it, uh, it was unfortunate but that's how it was. So what I've done, I've taken a bit of a credit card blank. I've sanded it down. I've sanded the inside of this down. And what we're going to attempt to do is create our own lip. So let's get to it. So I'm just going to try it with a bit of CA. Not a whole bunch. And then... We're gonna get it in there. I just want about two millimeters coming out. About that. Then I'm gonna fat one of these uh, electronic uh, clips, alligator clips. 
Whoops. Be better if I can pick them up. Get these in, so hold it in position. And then, hopefully, this will do the job and will work. So, let those uh, cure off for a couple of minutes and then uh, we'll get to it, I guess. Well, uh, okay, so a few minutes later, it looks like our little credit card has held. Um, let's try a test fit. Before, it was just wowing here, bulging out. Couldn't get it to uh, fit properly. Oh, and there we go. Now it uh, can fit. Just that. to... Uh, Oh, there we go. All right. So we'll get that glued in now. And I'm going to do it a couple of ways. Oops. So we're going to use a couple of uh, really strong magnets to hold uh, these ends in. And then uh, we'll just uh, CA this bit. And then later on, we'll get some filler on it and all will be good. So what I'm going to do is put just a dab of shoe goo on this one here, like that, and along this edge here, just a dab, whoops, one more dab, that might do it, and then we'll uh, CA the uh, lip on, what am I going to do with the CA, is this it, yes it is. So uh, we'll get these on. Just gonna, don't wanna go too heavy with this. But I want it to come up on this crease line. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Get the paper towel ready. No doubt, I'll screw something up. All right, so let's see, here we go. Let's try that piece on first. Come punch, fingers sticking to it. <laughs> God, it goes on when you don't have glue on, but when you have glue on, and you screw it up. Okay, so there we are with that. I'm gonna put a little bit of a uh, Masking tape here, just to draw it in. Try and keep it as flush as I can. A little bit of glue there, get rid of that. Get rid of all that. Less to sand later. And then we'll come along. So I'm putting a little, whoops. I'm putting a little tension on this uh, tape. Try and get that to fit a bit better. Okay, I'm going to be putting the uh, intake diverters here. They're in red, so it's going to be extremely difficult to mask uh, and get those painted afterwards. So I'm just going to put a little bit of colour in this area, which I can easily mask off uh, if I have to. So. Nothing fancy. I'm gonna make sure my windows don't get paint on them. Anyhow, <laughs> that should be good for now. So uh, we'll see. We've got the left one on, the right one on. We've got the nose just uh, popped in place temporarily. Got the canopy on just to take a look at it. And now you can see she's starting to look like a, an A6 intruder. Let's move the camera around, take a good look at it. And uh, there you see it, she's looking good. So as you can see, I've painted the canopy in the white, well, it's like a creamy white for when it's uh, finished. And uh, that way I don't have to remask the canopy nor around here, nor inside for, for the uh, nasals when I put the uh, 
diverters in. And uh, I think it's looking pretty good. It is a, a fairly large plane, but uh, what we're gonna do is, next I think we're gonna do that tail, and we have to figure a way of retaining these wings. I've not fully decided how I'm gonna do it yet. So uh, we'll just have to see. I've got a couple of notes here. One says uh, inside wire secure and wing bolts. So uh, I think that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna put the diverters in here. We'll uh, map the wing bolts. And after that, we'll move on to the tail because that's a fairly complicated little thing with tons of thrust washers and that kind of thing. So uh, anyhow, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I've got about 200 hours of view time I need to get qualified for YouTube, so I'd appreciate it if you could go into the playlist and uh, play a bunch of videos. Just leave them running, say play all and go for a coffee or something. That would really help me out and then we might get some funds in uh, to the uh, hobby and then we can do uh, some more neat stuff. I'm thinking of... Uh, an F-15 uh, Strike Eagle, uh, maybe the new EX model, uh, all done in foam this time. No molding, we'll just build it scratch built from uh, foam. So come back and uh, see the rest of this plane.